free trade is a good way, but I think we have to think of much more than free trade because I think the lesson we've learnt in recent times is that, okay, yes, free trade potentially is good for countries and their communities, but we haven't actually demonstrated that it was good for all the different sections of the community. And that's because we haven't actually paid attention to that. I think we have suffered from a backlash from public opinion. So the challenge now is to show that not only do we need free trade, but we need to ensure that in each economy we have the policy framework that will ensure that the benefits spread throughout the community. And that is really um, links to Apex Agenda on Inclusive Growth, which we need to give a lot more um, attention to. It's potentially a big um, downside risk for countries like us because, I mean, first of all, there is always the potential that we will get caught up in the trade war, that either China or the United States will pressure us to take actions to support them. and. The actions that they may pressure us to take may be not in our interests and it becomes difficult sometimes to resist that kind of pressure. Um, but also the spillover effects from the trade war, um, although the, President Trump thinks this is going to be good for the United States, not many economists agree with him, and certainly um, the potential uh, effect on China could be to um, reduce China's economic growth and if the effect of the trade war is to reduce economic growth in China and the United States, that's clearly going to be bad for small countries like Chile and New Zealand. Uh, can we find alternative sources of growth? That's a big challenge, but we may have to start thinking about where can we find new sources of growth in terms of the leadership in the world economy um, if China and the United States can't find their way out of this trade war. Yeah. Obviously science and technology is going to be critically important. Um, the sort of developments taking place in science and technology are just accelerating in speed. And so the challenge for us all is to keep up with these developments and find ways to utilise them in ways that are going to benefit our communities. And I guess each of our economies' success is going to depend on how well we do that. But you probably need to ask a younger person because it's becoming a young person's world and I'm getting old. I think absolutely, but I, and, and I think when you talk about science and technology, I mean, again, APIC is a forum where we can all learn from each other, and so we can actually help each other to deal with these challenges for the future. I, I, I think that's right.